And one day I came back from my office from lunch, which was on 9255 Sunset, and there was this large black man sitting in the lobby on the floor, had a big overcoat on and big slippers, wild hair. And, and, and as soon as I walked in, he jumped up and came out and was scared me because I, I didn't know who he was or anything. And, and he said, Mr. Thompson, he said, I hear you're the best record lawyer in the world, and I want the best record lawyer, and I want you to represent me, and I've got a cassette here, and I've got a tape, and I want you to listen to this tape, and I want you to make me a record there, because I'm a new star. <laughs> and and, and uh, Jimmy Barton, a uh, publisher, you know, he says his wife he went to school with in Mississippi, whatever, and he said, I, you got to represent me. I, I, I says, well, I'll, okay, I'll listen to it. I says, but, you know, at this firm, for us to represent, you got to at least have $500 to open up a file. He says, the only thing I have in my life of value is this tape. I'll be back for $500. Three days later, he came to my office with five wadded up $100 bills. He had walked to my office on Sunset from South Central LA, 12 miles. He walked in his bedroom stores. He had no money. He stopped at a Westwood Hole grocery store and where they had barbecued chickens under these hot lamps. Mm -hmm. He stole the barbecued chicken and he ate it. He went to a friend and got $500 and brought it to me and he says, you're my lawyer. <laughs> By then, I listened to the tape and I heard the first sounds of Barry White. The deep Love Maestro said, I'm going to love you, love you, love you. I've never heard anything like that. I was glad he came back. <laughs> if I'd given him $500 myself, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I took the tape. We went over to Rush Lake and the 20th Century Records. He says, Wow, well, it's different, but I don't know. It was around Christmas. Let me think about it. So they were having a Christmas party at 20th Century Records, and he, he had Barry's tape on in his office at the Christmas party, and Elton John was at the party. And Elton was listening to this music, he said, Russ, who's this? He said, I had some Riley, you know, wants to sign. He said, that's really good. That's really different. So, of course, Russ Raven signed Barry White. And then for 10 years, Barry White and I traveled around the world. Many albums of gold and platinum and love and limited love and limited orchestra. This man in South Central LA with nothing walked, borrowed, did whatever he could to get to the right people, to get what he needed done. He didn't say, well, you know, I can't afford my part in my rent and my job. He, he didn't have a choice. If When you find your talent, whatever it is, let me tell you the blessing that comes with a talent. When you identify your talent and you know which one, there is a call. And let me tell you what happens. You don't have a choice anymore. All these choices you got, and you figured out there are obstacles, they go away. The good news is, you don't have a choice. And the bad news is, you don't have a choice. <laughs> but the great news is, you're on the right track.